The new season kicked off against Southend United, one of the surprise teams of the previous campaign. A 28,000 crowd was instant testimony to the amazing feeling of optimism that Keegan's charismatic presence had already inspired. Within minutes, any lingering memories of last season's struggle were long forgotten. Quickly taken. Knocked in towards Kilcline. Oh, that's a screaming goal from Paul Bracewell. Oh, what a start for Bracewell. And what a start for Newcastle. Paul Bracewell scores an absolutely screaming goal. Knocked out to it. Bracewell had no hesitation when he came on to that one. And he absolutely lashed it past Sansom. South End look to respond. And it's fallen loose. And that's a great save from Tommy Wright. And Tommy Wright again denies Sussex. Another good move developing here. Now Peacock. Peacock on the edge of the box. Forced wide. Knocks it through for Clark. And it's an own goal. 2-0 to Newcastle. Pryor, Spencer Pryor knocks the ball in. Peacock lets the ball do some work for him as Beresford comes forward. Clark is spare again. Clark turns well. Oh, and so nearly another one. Well, there would have been absolutely no doubt about that one. Pryor knocks it forward. Head on there by Benjamin. Sussex looking to turn. It's a good strike and that's a goal back there by David Martin. Back for Sheedy again. Now Kelly looking to get on the end. And it could fall for Watson. If he can get his shot in. He's got support from Clark. This is Clark. Through the legs. And it's another goal for Newcastle. Lee Clark this time. And he'll definitely have that one. Benjamin. Robbed by Howie. Kilcline no messing. Straight to Powell though. No, Callaghan knocks it on nicely. Sussex, that's a good ball now. Benjamin can pull another one back. And he does so. Good finishing from Ian Benjamin. It was important that we, we got a good start. And that set the, the place alight really. A little bit disappointing towards the end. They conceded a couple of goals. Um, but I thought we were always in control. Um, and it was a good result. to set off for that before the start of the game. It was a nice one to start off with. Um, but at the end of the day, it didn't matter who scores as long as we get the results really. We played terrific first half. Had a dream start, especially for Paul Bracewell, having just joined the club. A terrific goal. And another one for Lee Clark, who's been threatening to do that for a long, long time in the pre-season games. Finally, you know, stuck one in the back of the net to get his confidence going. And we looked like we might run, run riot. A midweek victory at home to Mansfield in the Coca-Cola Cup had kept United fizzing. But a trip to big spending Derby County, one of the promotion favourites, was a genuine early test of potential. United's next home league fixture brought newly relegated West Ham to St James Park. With club skipper Brian Kilkline out injured, the captaincy passed to Gavin Peacock. Scott is up there, a little touch for Howie and Peacock. And Peacock, and it's in there, and Newcastle have got the lead. Gavin Peacock, the new skipper, got the important touch. 1-0 to Newcastle. to go to the half-time whistle and Peacock strikes yet again for Newcastle. How he battled well, Peacock was there, that was the touch and it made it without How he having to follow in. Peacock again, he's been so full of interest.
industry. He never stops, but he got away then. And that was quick thinking by Peacock to just get a foot to it. Peacock, the man of the moment. And Kelly and Peacock again. And Lee Clark. And the whistle goes, does it? No. And Kelly, and 2 0. David Kelly gets the goal he was praying for against his old club. And it's all going right for Newcastle at the end of this first half. Stoppage time, Kelly makes it 2 0. Hunting around there, Peacock, the creator this time. They were appealing for offside, they had a look around. But there was no whistle, the Glasgow blocked Clark's effort, but he had no chance as Kelly lashed in that loose ball. Lee Clark, you can see he looked around, but Klosko foiled the first attempt, no chance there. Three league wins in a row, two of them against highly fancied teams that soon boosted Tyneside expectations. Confidence was clearly soaring as Luton Town were the next to find out. Sweeney forward, Peacock being forced out wide here. Clark making a run around the outside. Now Kevin Sheedy, lovely control and a perfect finish from David Kelly. A minute before half time, 2-0. Jones car. Blocked that time and good save there from Pedersen. So close Newcastle there. Lee Clark. Looking for Peacock. Keeps the move going out wide to Sheedy. No way through there. O'Brien perhaps. O'Brien trying one and push over the top. Good save. Have a long ball in towards the heart of the defence. Didn't fall for Kelly. Sheedy's picked it up right across the face again. Only half clear. Lee Clark. Marvellous save and a great shot too from Lee Clark. Luton trying to find some sort of an opening here and that one nearly dribbled in all that was a terrible moment for Tommy Wright but they've got away with it Kevin Keegan's team had quickly shown its ability to win playing quality football but down at Bristol Rovers modest Twerton Park ground the determined side of the manager's personality clearly shone through Ironically, Newcastle's free-scoring start had been achieved without the man who proved himself one of the deadliest finishers ever to wear that famous number nine shirt. Mickey Quinn finally got his call up to face his old club Portsmouth, managed by Jim Smith, the man who'd brought him to Tyneside. It proved a spectacular entrance. Scott coming forward, Lee Clark. Mickey Quinn, nice one two for Clark. Clark. A good saving tackle there, he'll have to scoot back. Oh, so nearly an own goal there by Kit Simons. McLaughlin losing it out to Lee Clark, who was too quick for him. And Clark's carrying on a great run. Kelly is pointing where he wants it. It's come deep for Mickey Quinn. Mickey Quinn scores for Newcastle. Quinn is back. And Mickey Quinn classic and a superb break by Newcastle. Stay by the running of Lee Clark, who started the move, made such a positive run. 
He whips him across and that is meat and drink to Mickey Quinn. Quinn. The Clark. Quinn. Oh, so quick again, Mickey Quinn. And Alan Knight must have got a touch. Now Lee Clark skipping through defenders. The touch by Quinn. David Kelly. Beautifully taken by David Kelly. Another classic goal. Beresford showing neat control and balance again. In front of Warren Neal. Little touch there. Kelly must be three. Oh, how did he miss that one? Sheedy now. Beresford racing through in support. Sheedy thinking about the shot, but it's come for Beresford first time. And Mickey Quinn. And Mickey Quinn gets his second. Disallowed then for offside with Quinn celebrating. Beresford again looking lively. Friends' car is over there. Clark gets away from his man. And Quinn this time. And it's three. It's the second of Mickey Quinn. And no one will take that one away from him. And there's a goal there by Whittingham. Almost out of nothing. Mickey Quinn takes the applause he richly deserves back in the team today and celebrating with two goals against his old club. But well, I have been in the blocks ready to, to get out and go. And it's been frustrating uh, because after the start of the season with this team I finished last season. That kept us up and uh, to be fair to the lads, they've done brilliant. We haven't lost. So you've just got to wait and wait and wait and bide your time. And then when you're out in the team, take your opportunity. He certainly took your opportunity with those goals. The first one, you seem to be hanging there in the air, ready for it, thinking that one's mine. Well, as soon as it left my head, I knew it was a goal. Uh, I remember Clarkie just pressing it in. Um, there was only one place it was going when it came in, and that was the back of the net. Looked as though you were going to get more goals. You had one chalked out for offside. You were nearly back uh, celebrating and kicking off the Couldn't believe game. it. Well, the referee actually turned to give the goal. And then I was celebrating to the crowd and then I turned back and uh, I couldn't believe it. Did. I think it was offside. You did get the second goal though and there was no mistake about that one. Yeah, Franz did, did ever so well. Kept a low cross that flew across the face of the goal and I came in at the back post and uh, just lifted it over to keep, keep it into the roof of the net. Now Kevin must be so pleased with six out of six at the start of the season, but he's a man with a problem. I mean, what is he going to do about his selections now? It's a nice problem to have, isn't it? I mean, we've got a squad of about 20, 22 first team players. You've got to be patient and bide your time, and if injuries do happen, come in, take your chance, and then uh, it's up to someone else to get the shirt off your back. That sixth win in a row took Newcastle to the top of the first division, a position they were only to relinquish for just 21 hours in the rest of the season.